Hey guys, how you doing? KB here from KGDB Cards, and today it's a different edition. I have bought a fifteen pound mystery box off of eBay. Now I'm not really the one to buy mystery boxes, but I thought, well, what the hey? But this is more like a really big style kind of envelope. You can see by the thickness here. It's not that big, but it's a little bit of a box. And just so you guys can see. I'll just cover the address because the address is still on it. It is from eBay, as you can see, put and put from eBay. And there's our guy right here, Kaiba. Let's put this over. So, so hard to get into this. That's it. It was fifteen pound for these off of eBay. So we don't see any poking out, are they? Nope. Yeah, I think that's it. As you can see, guys, it is a really thin box. Like an envelope, nearly. Weird. Um, what do I do? Should start with the big ones or start with the small ones here? Because we've got, how many for £15 we've got? One, two, three, a couple of sleeves, guys. That's awesome. Means you can sleeve up a couple of those rare cards from my other video of the Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon, which is really rare. And we packed two of those from three boxes. Check out the video, guys. Super cool. And we can sleeve them up using these. Now, I've got two really big packs here, which you can open. So I'll set them all over there. Use them later on. I can't remember what this guy posted on his list. I think he said a couple of ultra rare, super rares, a couple of commons. <laughs> this is so bad I can't even get in here because of all the cards. I'll load this and just try and give that a shake. There we go. If in doubt, shake it from the bottom. So, what do we do? Should we do a reveal that way? Or should we go old school? A bit more fun going this way. So, top card. Is Magical Undertaker, Speed Duel card, Water Hazard, another Speed Duel card, guys. Oh. I must have loved the Speed Duel packs. Next is another Speed Duel card. I was just I don't even know if you can use these in normal decks because they're from the Speed Duel collection. But, like, possibly another Speed Duel. Look at that. In my Ruka. This card you control is destroyed by your opponent's card and sent to the graveyard. Send the top card and the deck to the graveyard. Then if it is a water monster, draw one card. Well, very poor card if you ask me, guys. This card, the Jin Designer of Rituals. Speed Duel card again. Now, guys, I'm listening to YouTube just to kind of give us a bit of music while we do this. Because, you know, it is boring without music. Next card, another Magical Undertaker. Wow. Next, Must of the Acquire. Must of the Accursed, wow. That was the duel between Yugi and the Rare Hunters. First time we saw that. By Loomis and Umbra. The equipped monster could not attack once, returned in the stamina effect, and put final damage to the controller. This equipped monster, speed duel card, that should that would be really good as a normal card. Next card, Pyramid of Wonders, another speed duel card, but I like the look of that design though. You guys really did. Really cool. Goblin Zombie, a speed duel card again. I'll tell you what, I think this pack might be just all speed duel cards. I'm not gonna lie guys, I mean I did buy this for fifteen pounds off of YouTube off of YouTube. <laughs> off of uh, eBay. Next one, another must be a cursed. Wow. Speed duel fishboard planter. Sword of Dark Destruction. Crip only to a Dark Monster, it gains 400 attack and loses 200 defense. Wow. Oh, this one is not a speed duel card. FA Shining Star GT. First edition as well. I can't see what that says there. R I R A. You guys might know what that means. I don't have a clue. Even if it's as rare, but I don't think it is. I think it's more like a common. Fury of Fire, another RIRA card. 
This card is always treated as a Salaman Great card. Special summons for two Salaman Great cards with different names from your hand under a graveyard in defense position, but their effects are negated. Once of this is turned onto this card resolves, you can have a special summon from the extra dirt ones. You can only activate one fear of fire once per turn. Oh. Okay. Next, we have Reptilia Lamia. Another rare card right there. Marinus Current. Mira, first edition again. Wow. Um, we'll look at the guys. Me Nosy Heat Art. First edition, and that is a Pendulum Monster. Oh, damn. Look at the artwork on that. It's really cool. I'm pretty sure that's got to be an ultra rare. Just look at that one. That doesn't really get Pendulum. You can use my spells on monsters, but. Wow. Real well, nice. Tiny Spirit. <laughs> That's like a word I ain't gotta try and pronounce. Sithana, maybe? I don't know. Two times defensive. Attack of it is weak. If you control no effect monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. If a non face of effect monster you control is destroyed by battle, you can banish this card from your hand or graveyard and tell one of those destroyed monsters. Special summon it and destroy one monster you can control. Right. Okay. Interesting card right here. Next one. Dino Wrestler, Marshall and Kilo. Another Rira, first edition. Psychic Fervor. During the battle phase, like, one monster control. You lose life points equal to its attack, and if you do, that monster's attack is doubled. If not, attack directly during the turn you activate this. Well, it's really handy if you're going to get dealt a lot of damage. Sacrifice your own life points to boost your monster. Really handy. And then we have a uh, Run Ryu. You can control one run you. If you control a spellcaster monster, you can spell some this card from your hand. If this card is destroyed by Bella Perfect and sent to the graveyard, you can target one monster with 1500 attack and 200 defense in your graveyard. Except Remyon's special summon. Well, it's pretty useless then. Unless you've got a monster with that atta same attack and same defense. It's an awful card. But... Okay, wait, really, half of those cards were probably not. But if there's a couple of. Ultra rares, don't know the price for, I could probably total them up at some point. And then, I'll get back to you guys. Next. Oh, we're doing it this way, aren't we? Yes, we are. So, first card. That's what we got. Yu Gi Oh! <sighs> so, Bristol Cyclone, what's that from? F L O D, wow. Very nice. Trans Familiar. And the card from FLOD. First edition. Next we have Gravekeeper Spiritualist. Really good Gravekeeper monster. If you're in your main face, and Necrophiles are a It's fusing some one spellcaster fusion monster. Where you actually doing this card you control and other monsters from your hand or field fusion material. So that's really good. Gravekeeper Spiritualist. Awesome card there. Rise of Salamandri. Wow, that is a really good card with the artwork. We'll read it out to you guys. This card can be used to rich on any Salamandri ritual monster. You also must tribute monsters from hand or field whose total levels equal or exceed the level of the ritual monster. You ritual summon. If you control a fire link monster, you can also use Salamandri monster in my graveyard by shuffling them into the deck. This card's owner is in possession, is destroyed by an opponent's card effect. You can special summon one Salamangri Emerald Eagle from your hand in its own conditions. Okay, never seen a card like that before. Next, Orchestrated Core. First edition. So are you. Dino Wrestler, Capitera. That'll go well with the other Dino Wrestler we got. That's it. Next, Rise of Salamangri. Another Rise of Salamangri. Wow. Some doublers. Proton. <laughs> Imagine that, just a just a wee proton. <laughs> Little harmless guy. <laughs> Next, we have Goku Oster Stretch. Oh, pretty freaky card, if you ask me. Next, just something out. We have World Dino Wrestling. Fits for the card. Great White. Speed Duel again, again, Speed Duel. Speed Duel again, wow. Goblins of Speed Duel again. Lost Blue Breaker Speed Duel, wow. 
Next we have Warrior Digrapher, Speed Dome. Again, I don't even know if he can use these cards. Wait, four cards left in this one. Dweller in the Depths. Speed Dome card. Come on. Lost Blue Breaker again. Mystical Elf, Speed Dome. First time seeing that card. Again. If so, it's one of the early episodes with Yugi and Weevil. Next. The Legendary Fisherman, that was Joey's card that he won off Maku Tsunami. And it says, while well, Omi is on the field, this card is unaffected by spells and cannot be targeted for attacks, but does not prevent your opponent from attacking you directly, because it hides in the deep. Great card if you know what you're doing with it, but Speedo, again, I don't know if you can use them in a normal deck, because of Speedo cards. Again, if you guys let me know in the comments what you can do, let me know. We have four packs. This one's slightly got more in it, so we'll open this one first. And then cards leave there. Six cards. What can we get with six cards? So far, pretty on the well for fifteen pound. I mean, I don't even know if I'm breaking even. <laughs> Metal Rocket Dragon. That's a really good rare card to get. Sadly, not first edition though, so it's not really worth much. And again, that's the Link Monster. Next. Dual Light Chimera. Oof. Really good Link Monster there. Sadly, not a uh, first edition either. That's an EXFO. Next. Ghost Bird of Bewitchment. Another EXO card. So this must be this from the same pack then, this guy sent me. Next. Midnight A Red Moon. Another EXO card. And we have a Vendred Charge. Again, EXO. And the last one, Master King Archfiend. Again, EXO. So they were actually from all in the same packs. Right, we've got three packs left. I'll look at the back of that one. I'll save that one to the end because that could be interesting. Because this card, there's nothing to it. There's no Konami symbol. So I don't even know what that card could be. Pretty unusual to see one of them, so it must be, it could be a fake card. What's this? There's two in this one. Skill card, Meku Tsunami. I start the duel, place this card in your field zone and flip it over. And it's Mythic Depth Speed Duel card. Wow. All fish, Sea Serpent, Thunder, and Aqua Monster in the field gain 200 attack defense. All Machine and Pearl Monster in the field lose 200 attack defense. And because, I mean, so that's good for your legendary fisherman. Right there. Mask card is Preda Pruning. First edition as well. Look at that. After this card, by target one Pred Plant Monster in your graveyard, special summon it and create with this card. When this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. Oh, okay. Alright. Turn your attention to this part now. I'll put that part right there. Right there in there. For you guys to see. Two cards back to the back. Pot of Duality, wow, first edition as well, look how old this card is. BP02. Oh. It's one of the booster packs this one's from, I can't remember exactly which one. But, reveal the top three cards of your deck, add one of them to your hand, then shuffle the rest back into your deck. You can only have to go one Pot of Duality once per turn, you cannot special so you need to get this card. It's a right card. And the last card... Is a PSY Frame Gear game. Another EXFO, but this one is limited edition. So this one's obviously came from the same pack as that, but it is a limited edition. Uh, and to close off this video, the final pack. Dun 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 we should reveal that card last. Because it's obviously super fake, don't you know what it is. Reload! Wow, that is going back. That is a really, really old starter deck 8. Wow. It's really going back. That must be... I'm not too sure if the cards started with maybe... The Jaden era, maybe? I'm not too sure. It just says that all cards in the hunter deck and shuffle... Shuffle it, then draw a single number of cards that you added to your deck, right? 
What is this card? Is it done? The Winged Dragon of Ra. Whoa, limited edition. So that's a limited edition card. So this actually might not even be properly fake. Maybe actual real deal. Doesn't look very minted anyway. A limited edition. Just says this card can I be used in the duel. The back is weird though because it doesn't say Konami or Yu Gi Oh! Well, as you can see, I'll show you the normal card. Yeah, that's the normal card right there. That's the Wind Dragon of Raw Yellow. So you can see the difference straight away between the two cards. This one. Legendary Collection 1. Wow, that's going back to the Obelisk. Slifer. But it's a really good card, I think, guys, to finish off the video. And that note, I mean, look at that. A really good limited edition. Wind Dragon of Raw. I don't even know if that's going to be worth anything, but... For a god card to be in a set, wow. That's really going back. And it's really going back as well. Because look at the text on it. Spirit Singer, a powerful creature that rules over all that is mystic. That's really going back, guys. Sorry, they're a really nice card. And obviously the attack and defense is unknown, but you know its abilities if you look it up. But, in that, I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'm going to close it here before I bore you all to death. Hopefully not. And hopefully you enjoyed my mystery box unboxing. I will need to get a total of how much roughly is there, but to be honest, I don't think I made over 15. But if you like what you see, subscribe, comment in the comments what your favorite part of the video was. I mean, I think it'll be different. And yeah, just let me know. Thanks guys, see you soon.